Okay, right, so by now you'll have done lesson one, you'll have looked at the three extracts and got an idea of the story, and hopefully you'll have watched the six small videos that detail the story from start to finish in audio-visual, although well, not much of a visual. So for this live lesson, simply click through the slides. Uh, you'll be able to see if there's a video, if it's playing, or if there's audio. When that's finished, click on to the next one, or if there's an absence of sound for a short while, you'll know that that is time to move on. There'll be periods of time where you're asked to pause the video, you can go off and do a task. You have the extracts with you, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Once you've done the task, spent enough time on it, come back to the PowerPoint where you left off and go again. Okay. Right, we're focusing on today on punctuation, and particularly punctuation for dialogue, because you'll be creating your own horror stories and for tension and drama purposes, you'll certainly want people speaking in them and you need to know how to punctuate that correctly. So here's some key terminology you absolutely need to know. So you've got inverted commas, terminal marks and speech tags. You need to remember these to be able to refer to them when you do self-assessment, when you read your teacher's assessment of your work. It's like learning anything. Keywords in science, maths, a language, you learn what they are and you remember it. So your inverted commas, quite simply, once upon a time in primary school were known as speech marks. But that's not what they're called. They're inverted commas. And you can see why. Because they're commas that go inwards. They're the wrong way round. They're inverted. Then you've got terminal marks. Well, just think of what a terminal is. In the bus station, it ends there. Think of when something is terminated, it ends. So full stops, question marks, exclamation marks. These are punctuation examples that terminate a sentence. Then you've got speech tags. Now they vary. So the speech tags come before or perhaps, or usually actually, after the dialogue. So the examples here, she said, he replied. Uh, these are quite sort of basic ones. Sometimes you don't need speech tags, but we'll start with the basics today and we'll assume that you do. 